Hey guys, welcome back to our NetBeans advanced tutorial. Today's lesson, I'll be showing you guys on how to use um, combo boxes. If you don't know what a combo box is, it's basically a drop down menu. And uh, if you've ever applied for something on the internet, you might have seen it's asked for your um, maybe your year of birth. And uh, it's got a long drop down menu where you can scroll down and choose what year you're born in. And that's exactly what we'll be showing you guys how to use today. Um, you may notice that we have a new project. From now on, we'll be using the simple layout to show you guys how to use different swing controls because it's much quicker. And uh, in South Africa, our net is not as fast as America or anywhere else. So, uh, uploading videos larger than 50 megabytes takes quite a while. So, um, yeah, let's get started. Today, we'll be creating a very quick application where you vote for your favorite day. Uh, obviously the winning vote will be Friday unless you are depressed and like Monday um, and if you are that's your that's your own thing but uh, nevertheless we'll be creating a simple application so uh, I've already started it up a bit added a button text field and um, two labels there's no code involved in here I just put it for to make it look nice make it look pretty so uh, let's add a combo box right here drag and drop it in there and mine disappeared because I have an image, so move it up, and there we go. Just resize it quick. There you go. And uh, you can see we click on it and nothing happens. This is because we have to run our project first. Now we click on our drop down menu, and we have four items item one, two, three, and four. Now, um, this is all great, but there's no use to using item one, two, three, and four. So let's first change our variable name to vote choice now as you know everything has a property menu and so does this so there we go we enter the property menu right click go down to properties and we show up with this menu right here if we go down a bit you can see we have a property called the model um, it's highlighted in bold because it's the most important thing here now, as you can see we have item 1, 2, 3 and 4 and you saw it's the same items that we have in our combo box now, um, just keep in mind that everything is arranged in an order. Basically, the first item you type into our model property will be the first item that shows up in our combo box. The second item that we type in our model property will be the second item that shows up in our drop box. But not drop box, drop down box. Um, so, let's change this to Monday. And now, to separate the two between the, um, to separate items, basically, we just use a simple comma and we're just going to type in the rest of the days of the week and uh, you don't need to worry about spacing or anything like that just type it in the correct order that you would like to see it in your actual program okay once you're done you're just going to click on enter and there we go, it's already changed in our um, drop down menu and you can see Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday now keep in mind that you are not limited to the number of items that you can use I've built a uh, instant messenger where my res uh, register page basically went all the way from 1990 till the year 2000 so I had a hundred items in there and uh, it worked fine Obviously, if you start going over 500, 600, um, you might be slowing down the program. Obviously, Java is not the fastest language out there, but uh, it does the job pretty well. So, let's get to our coding. Basically, when we click this vote button, it's going to get our item and put it into this text field just to show you how you can use, you know, basic manipulation. So, let's double click on our vote button, get into our source code. And uh, keep in mind that text fields always use strings. Now, um, combo boxes are not strings. In fact, I have no idea what they are. And if someone out there does, please leave me a, leave me a uh, comment telling me what it, what exactly is it is. It might be a character or something. Not too sure. But uh, we have to convert it. So string choice is equal to that. Okay, you can see we have the variable name called vote, uh, vote choice. Basically, variable names in NetBeans are shown up in green text. 
as you can see right there. And now we have another new function of uh, Java Nepeans API called dot get selected item. It's very similar to dot get text, except in um, comma boxes we use items. These things are called items. And a selected item is basically the the one that pops up on the top here. If we choose Friday, in this example, our selected item is now Friday. We choose Tuesday. Selected item is Tuesday. So it fetches our selected item and converts it into a string. That means we can put it into our text field. Dot set text, open close brackets, semicolon, and in the open close brackets, we're just going to type in our variable name called choice. Once again, NetBeans has a feature where if you use the same variable name, it uh, highlights it in a yellowish color, yellow orange type color. Anyways, let's run our program. Let's say our favorite day is Monday. Click on vote, and it tells me my vote was Monday, which is absolutely correct. Now, let's say I don't like Mondays anymore. Let's say I like Fridays. I change my option to Friday, click on vote, and there you go. Now, um, it's just as simple as that. There's nothing nothing technical. You don't need thousands of lines of code to, to do this. And uh, yeah, so you guys can employ, uh, employ this in your own programs, applications. And uh, I hope this tutorial really helped you out. And if it did, please leave us a like, comment, or just subscribe to us because we have lots more tutorials. We'll be showing you guys how to use all of these swing controls. And um, at the end of it all, we'll be creating one big program with databases, register pages, and we will be using all the techniques we learned in our entire advanced NetBeans uh, series. So um, please subscribe, and my partner will also be doing custom made NetBeans features. Uh, it sounds very high tech, but it isn't, and it's uh, things that you only find professional teams using. So uh, please stay tuned for that. And as always, thanks for watching.